All right, so I'm gonna jump into the super joy here, and we're gonna talk about how to control the PTZ Optics Move SE with one of our joystick controllers. Then we'll take a look at the smartphone controller as well. But for now, and of course, we're gonna open up Q&A in a minute, but we've got a pretty aggressive schedule of demos here. We so do. let's let's jump into this uh, super joy. The super joy is really our most popular PTZ joystick controller. And one of the things I love about this joystick, besides the fact that, yes, it has pan, tilt, zoom control, it has really good controls for uh, speeds, so you can really dial in your pan, your tilt, your zoom speeds, the focus speeds, the preset speeds. You've got all of your controls for uh, white balance and, and exposure and all of these things, locking and unlocking focus. It really is a professional joystick controller. Right here is where we can switch between the cameras, but one of the things I really like is the custom buttons here. We've got four custom buttons, and today I'm gonna to show these custom buttons turning off and on auto tracking for the Move SE. So that way you can seamlessly move between, all right, I'm tracking a person, I'm manually controlling the camera, to, you know, boom, now I wanna, I wanna turn on auto tracking. So we're gonna look at the auto tracking in a moment, but let's start with the, the PTZ Optics uh, Studio Pro here. Now, I have it connected to camera one, which has an IP address of, uh, this is 192.168.21.58. And you can see that I'm controlling the camera at a certain speed here. If I want to pan a little faster, I can, I can go nice and fast. I can go nice and slow. We've got all the options here for doing that, zooming in, zooming out. The thing that really makes this look great though is the auto tracking. So these custom buttons are configured in the web interface for the SuperJoy. So if I click custom button one, I have set it up so that it will trigger the auto tracking for this PTZ Optics Move 4K. And there it goes. Now it's auto tracking. Um, it looks like it just locked in on Lindsay actually. Oh. And it's auto tracking you. Um, so I, I mean, I guess just maybe just move around a little just to show that it's working. Um, and even just a little left and right just to see. Okay, because I don't think that's the camera that it's. Oh, wait. That's not the camera. That that's not the camera. camera. That's why that's your other camera. Um, but anyway, it not is following you. It is tracking you. <laughs> and, uh, it's okay, Mike. Uh, I'm going to turn the tracking off because really the demo is to show how the tracking turns on and off here. Uh, I, I don't know if I showed that, but basically, boom. Now tracking is off. Now I can manually control the camera. So that's how it works. Um, if we show the web interface really quickly, I'll show uh, just how easy it is to, to make that happen. Um, in the web interface here, the first tab that you see is devices. And the device tab is where you can easily set up each of your groups for your uh, groups of cameras. Um, the search area is where you can actually just search for all the cameras on your network. And you can search for any NDI camera. You can see we've got quite a few. Or uh, just PTZ Optics cameras because this will work with pretty much any PTZ camera. Um, we've got a quick little controller here, which you can get the URL for and send to like a smartphone for a nice little control. We've got an awesome matrix mode, which allows you to control three presets for up to three cameras. Again, very easily from like a smartphone or tablet. And then over here are the custom buttons. And what we've done, if you've got the latest firmware for your SuperJoy, is we have a toggle button. So the first time you press the button, I have this command set up. And there's a blog post about this on our website. It's in our documentation, basically. This is the command that you send to the camera to turn on auto tracking, and then this is the command to turn off auto tracking. We hit save, and now that custom button one on the joystick, when first pressed, will enable auto tracking. When second pressed, will turn off auto tracking. So that is a demonstration of how to use the PTZ Optics Move SE with the PTZ Optics Studio Pro. Very similar to our other joystick controllers, except the SuperJoy features the ability to turn off and on that auto tracking.